Okay, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to make the game over condition. So when all the defenders are destroyed, then we'll call a game over scene. And we can make that scene later. We'll just make a placeholder for now. Um, first thing I'm going to actually do is we have some bugs and some unfinished parts of the, the missile launcher to, to finish. So the, the first bug there is if we run our game now, and let's just finish around. So we'll just shoot a bunch of missiles, destroy stuff. Okay, and we'll see right away. So we've got 10 missiles left and then two in the launcher. When the new round starts, they don't reset properly. So the missiles in the launcher stay there. Uh, this one's a really easy fix. So if we go to the game controller, Basically, we're just not telling it to reset them at the start. So if we go to start, this is how we handle it in the start method. Just copy these two lines and we'll throw them in the end of round. Uh, right near the end here. It really doesn't matter where specifically, but uh, any time after this part. So now with that, if we run it again, it should reset that we have 30 in total every round, which will automatically right away remove 10 and put them in the launcher. So it should say, first thing we should see on there is 20 missiles left and 10 in the launcher. Okay, there, so that's one thing and the next we need to do now is uh, if our missile launcher gets hit and we have less than 10 missiles we want to destroy it whereas right now it, do it does nothing so let's do that uh, one thing with that we will have to look at um, actually instantiating it again in the next round if we make it through and the launcher is dead so we basically have two options we have that option or we have the option you know what let's not do that and what we will do is we'll leave the missile launcher in that way it'll stay so the the only end condition we're going to use is if all of our cities are gone so let's go back into our game controller and what I'm going to do is make a variable for the cities. So let's do, let me make this one public int city counter. And we'll start it at zero because we want to actually pull how many there are dynamically. So what we'll do is in start, we'll do around here, uh, we'll do city counter equals game object dot find well, it's got to be a capital G game object dot find objects of type we need the S in there we'll add city uh, we're going to need to do dot length I believe this should work. Let's make sure. I think you can call dot length right in here. Okay, so six, so that does work. Okay, so what we'll do is on our enemy missile, in here when it hits something tagged as a defender, uh, if it's the missile launcher, it's going to return out of here and not run the last code. So this code here is only going to be called when it's a city. So the defender, well, basically it's tagged as defender and it's not a missile launcher. So in our case, that's the only thing there is going to be a city. So what we can do is my game controller dot city counter minus minus. Okay, so anytime city gets destroyed, that's going to subtract it. And then in here in update, we can do another if city counter 
is less than or equal to zero. And then what we'll just do is debug.log game over. Okay, so let's test this before we move on. So this way the code shouldn't matter even if you have a bunch of missiles left and your launcher is still there. If you lose all your cities, the game is done. Okay, so game over. So that's working. So let's make a quick little scene. Create new scene. We'll call this the end. So the one thing on Missile Command 2 at the end, there was no actual game over screen. It just said the end, basically like everything's destroyed and the world's over. So we'll, we'll stick with that idea. Uh, so we're not going to really add anything here yet. Let's just add a canvas. We'll add some text. Uh, the end text. And we'll just say the end. We'll center that. And that should be right in the center, but let's make sure. So that's in the center. Scale it up a bit. Make this font a bit bigger, and we'll just go with this for now. Uh, we'll later we'll add buttons so they can replay things like that. But for right now, we'll just go with the end. So let's go back into our game controller, and what we're going to need to do is we'll need to add using Unity Engine Management. And then for our debug, we'll do scene manager dot load scene the end. I think everything here should be good. So let's go back to our game scene. We'll move this into scenes. Go to game. And let's just let the chaos ensue. Okay, so we got an error. That's actually because another thing that's really common to always forget is you forget to add your scenes to your build index. So let's add both of these. Need that. And the first one is game, so that's always going to be the default. Okay, one more time and this error should be gone now. Okay, there we go. So we have an uh, end scene, so we can pretty things up, add buttons and stuff later. But right now we at least have a working end condition.